Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will cover what is persisted query. Um, okay, let's create a new query first. So what we will do, I will just type in again. I think this time I, I will type editor list and within editor I want items and I want editor name and I will just run it and I have one editor. Let's have uh, some more information with uh, maybe author list I will again go to items and within item maybe I want uh, author name okay I'll run this query and I'm getting the response now I'll just save this as a persisted query and I will say it uh, author editor info i'll save it and it is saved as a persisted query now if we see i will click on these philipsis we see copy url option delete and headers let's copy the url and if i'll just now i i i'm just executing this uh, the url and i'm getting the the full data editor list author list and it's a get get call simple get call so now the usefulness is since it's a get call of course it can be cached and also author business authors they have this flexibility to change the the request it means we are changing the response of the graphql api on the go so business author can change the for example uh, right now i'm receiving author name but maybe i want um, profile information as well right I, I just want to add it i'll just save it in the in the next url if i'll just refresh it i'll get more information so all of we business authors they have this flexibility now okay also we can change the uh, we can change the headers i mean uh, maximum age of the cache control etc for caching purpose we can delete as well from here okay and when we want to publish this uh, this persisted query to the published environment it's just if we will go to uh, crxt and inside conf project name setting graphql persisted queries we will find that our newly created persisted query so uh, the filter what we can give is still here just create a filter with this one and we'll just replicate this package to publisher and that is how we will activate we'll publish this uh, persisted query if you want to delete it we can delete from here and from here also we can publish it So that's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching.